This is gonna be really hard to get down in there. Oh, and there are some good fish down there. I just saw some. I got it. I'm gonna get down right here and I'm gonna fish off this little island in the middle here. Usually I fish over here off the side by that tree, but I'm gonna try this island. And I just grabbed onto this tree for balance and it's not even connected to the ground. It's hanging from the other tree. Might not be able to get back out of here once I'm down here, but that's all right. I'll find a way out. Missed uh, two bites in the last video. There is a fish. Yep, that's a good one. Wow. Man. I was not expecting something like this in here. That was a good fight. Look, man. This is a solid, solid bass. I did not expect anything like this in here. Got him in the roof of the mouth there. Hook came out easily. Now I'm going to try out something new I got. Get some lip grippers. So I can get a weight easier. I just threw it out and then I started talking about something else and or I started record I stopped recording after I threw it out and I started talking about something else. Oh, that is a solid, solid fish. I would not expect him to be that heavy, actually. Uh, 1.557. I got some lip grippers, so it'd be easier to get weights. Whoa. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. I knew there was some out here. There we go. Let's get him back in the water. Oh. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> and there he goes. I knew it. I, uh, I knew this spot would pay off eventually. Been out here a few times. Haven't actually landed anything. That's the first fish I've caught. And I really hope I got all the jumping and stuff on, on camera. Because that was a pretty good fight. All right, the, uh, I always keep it Texas rigged. But the uh, head here is all worn out. You can see there's uh, big holes in it and stuff. And I don't really like wacky rigs. They work, but I get tangled up on way too much stuff. So what I do is I get my knife or scissors, whatever you have. And uh, this is more than what I would usually cut off, but it's a pretty big hole. So you just snip off a little bit there. And look, it's good as new. Now you can only do this a couple of times before the uh, worm is completely useless, but it works all right i tied on a havoc grass pig Let's see if this will get anything's attention out here Ah, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. This is a really good one. It's even better than the last one. This is, a, oh man, look at this. This. Man. Please tell me I'm recording, yeah. This is a good fish. Let me, look at that. Beautiful fish. Nice colors. Uh. I wasn't expecting that, honestly, especially on the grass pig. That is a nice fish. Wow. Uh, let's see. 2.29. 2.29. That is a that is a nice fish. I am psyched about this. 
Uh, try to get a picture quick and then get him back in the water. All right, got the picture. This is a nice, nice solid fish. He's fat. It's not very long, but for his length, he's pretty heavy. There he goes. Man. That was on the Havoc Grass Pig, which I, I've had stuff bite them before, but I've never, I've never landed anything on them. For this little creek, that was a pig. That was a tank, <laughs> hog, all those names. All right, so uh, caught some pretty, pretty nice fish. Two, two really nice fish. Uh, I'm, especially for this creek i wasn't expecting anything like that a pound and a half and then almost two and a half pounds and i'm still seeing sunfish everywhere they're just going crazy out here but they're not biting on my on my baits uh the sunfish aren't anyway uh first bass i caught was on a smoke and pearl yum dinger uh the second one was on a watermelon havoc grass pig so uh yeah this was, uh, it's the middle of winter. It is like January 9th or something like that. I don't even know the exact date. Um, it's been 20 degrees for the last two or three days. And then today, all of a sudden it was just warm. And I mean, I'm wearing a sweater, but I didn't need to. I mean, it was, it's been like 75 degrees all day. And uh, it's starting to get a little bit cooler. The sun is starting to go down. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. And I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm on the way back to the car. And uh, well, I'm passing up this creek again. I might as well see if they're ready to eat now. I don't think a grass pig will work over here. But small Senko or Yumdinger might. And uh, the crankbait usually does. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that one was fighting a lot for uh, for his size. I thought he was bigger than that. <laughs> See, a lot of people don't like catching these, or they want to use them as bait. But you know what? This is a pretty fish. See, and uh, okay, calm down. See, these are these are really pretty fish. I don't know what people. Why do people don't like catching small stuff? <laughs>